Welcome everyone to another race on F1 2022, or F1 technically, and we're doing, we're, we're in a random car, which car, which car am I in, uh, on a realistic one, we're in Azerbaijan, one shot quality, um, no assists, obviously, uh, I'm gonna put these up, oh, two clicks, so I don't know what car I'm in right now. I'm hoping the front of the grid, because otherwise I'm going to be screwed for the whole race. Let's see what car I'm in. I'm in the McLaren. Okay, this is going to be a pain fest. Let's just be honest here. Anything even remotely close to the front is basically... Also, also, um, the fact that uh, I don't know the breaking points of this track is basically is basically gonna be uh, gonna be my downfall. I am so worried here. I don't even know if damage is enabled. No damage. Okay. Oh, my steering wheel went. Holy... My brake pedal feels really soft. I'm in P6. Why am I in P6? I've somehow frauded my way into P6. What? How did that even happen? Not gonna lie. Okay, anything above P9? Anyone in the points, I think, is a good shout. A Ferrari screwed up somewhere. An Alpha Tauri guy is absolutely fast. Aston Martin, Red Bull at the very back. This is a very weird grid, not gonna lie, even in terms of the fact that some of the teams are out of place. So this is gonna be a cool race. Five laps in Azerbaijan. If the guy who was in the Red Bull, I'm pretty sure, loads up, and he does, but it's okay. If you like that qualifying, let me know if you want to see qualifying. If you don't want to see qualifying, we can always just only always do the race. That's okay with me, but let me know. Also, this is just me joining some random lobbies, because that's how I am. I like to just join random lobbies for no reason whatsoever. I'm gonna turn the wings down because I'm a lunatic. I wanna see what I can do from all the way down there. I don't even know my braking. I don't even know why I'm struggling with my brakes. I think my left foot is a little sleepy. I have no clue. Well, let's see where we go. I haven't driven in a while. Lights went out very early.
Oh, that. Yeah, I can break a lot on you. a lot earlier on that one. Yeah, there's a lot of downfalls in this car, just in general, compared to the, the equal car. Which basically means that um, there is an insane level. Okay, I'm still catching the Mercedes. Oh, I had a very massive rear locking. I mean, that was a pretty bad one. Caution, caution. Okay, clear. Yeah, we still have P6 in the back. Learning new cars. Let's use overtake and burn off some of this energy. That was a... a guy got on this... Okay, I can break a lot later there. Okay, let's try turn one again. Let's see what I can actually break. In the earlier point on, in this entire game cycle, that would have been a death sentence. That would have just been instant wall and penetration at its best. Okay, I can break a lot later there. And there I cannot do 100. Jesus, okay. Finishing where I start is not a bad spot to finish. Especially when you consider that I'm going to be fighting a Ferrari. That was a very weird... This car... I understand why Danny Ricciardo had a very big problem with this car, not gonna lie. You can't brake consistently. Uh, you have no understanding of where the grip is at the 
on the rear. And um, to be fair, it's kind of undrivable. Now gap to the car in front is 4.3 seconds. Yeah, you're Kyoto, if you're watching this, I don't know why you'd be watching this, but if you are considering watching me, um, I appreciate your willingness to drive this car. This is like a freaking boat. It's a boat. Like, I don't understand why this car is such a menace to drive. I think also all those spins have really ruined my entire ability to have grip. I even have to lift on that. I don't know why I shifted down. I didn't shift up or and just shifted down. This is probably one of my worst right drives ever. Then again, it's Azerbaijan. I. I have historically been terrible at Azerbaijan. Like, even with the line on. As you might have seen in the previous videos, I've quite recently turned off the line, so that's, um... I'm gonna blame it on that. Okay, this is your final lap. Final lap of the race. Okay, the gap behind is 4.8 seconds. I'm trying to just set a personal best right now. I don't even care what time it is, it just needs to be a personal best. It just needs to mean that... Oh, that was a beautiful... I'm curious which lap was that 51.9. I really am. I want to know which lap that was 50 was 51.9. It was a 49.8. Let's take a look at what was the 51.9. Which lap? So P8, not bad. I'm pretty sure that that was within the realm of what I'd said that was my going to be my finishing position. So I'm happy with where I have finished. PM. And now let's see. Let's take a look at what my... 51.9 was literally the first lap. So I had two clean laps in this whole race. The first and the last. That's it. My opening lap was the cleanest lap other than the last one. 
and my sector two just get got worse progressively. 42.8, 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 